Hi guys, Reman one r here, and today we're going to be playing some more Asphalt 9. In this video, we'll be driving this, the Koenigsegg Regera. Let's get straight into this. Okay, so the Regera is an S-Class car, rank 4616, and it used to be the second best car in the entire game, right behind the Chiron, and it was released in the, very, in the second ever special event, again, right after the Chiron. <laughs> So what's interesting about this car? Well, um, it's basically the step. This is the very first like stereotypical Koenigsegg. Um, bad acceleration, bad natural efficiency, um, but really good drifting and really good top speed. This thing has a top speed of 299 miles per hour. It goes just shy of 300 miles per hour. Just barely. Oh, right. Well, that happened. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't know that was a problem, but uh, apparently it is. Thankfully this is a slipstream season, so we can get back right back up to uh, our speed immediately. Oh, uh, that's not what I meant to do. I did, what I meant to do was go up this ramp, but uh, I guess we're, we're really far behind now. <laughs> um. There is one, there's, there is actually one interesting thing about this car though, um, early in the game, um, that little, the, the game loss actually, the game loss actually got the exhaust design wrong for this car. So this kind of, uh, oval shaped thingy, um, this, that's where the nitro used to come out of, but then people pointed out that that's actually, that's actually not the exhaust, that's the diffuser, the exhaust are these, are these two slits. Right next, right, right next to the diffuser. So of course, uh, game now, game now fixed it, and now, and now it looks as it should. Um, so yeah, yeah, now it looks obviously the way it should. But before, you come up from the center, which I mean, I didn't find, I didn't find it weird at all because I, I just thought that's what the, that's what the exhaust was as well. But, th but then po people pointed it out. I was like, oh, oh, that's where it is. I found it. I found that very interesting. That's the that's that's the way it's designed. I think it's very cool. Another cool thing about this car um, is that it only has two gears: one for going forward and one for going in reverse. And it gets a third gear for neutral, but uh, we, we we don't talk about that. So, but yeah, in, and in Forza Horizon Three, because they only have you know one gear for going forward, um, that 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 allowed it to do its top speed in reverse. You could literally go like 200 plus miles per hour in this car, going in reverse. And it, it was in the base game without like without much tuning needed or anything. It was pretty funny just seeing people people going like super fast. Anyways, going back to the game though, we almost did wreck one at one point, but we are fine. Yeah, this car is uh pretty hard to accelerate. In terms of where it is now, I'd say it's, it isn't that bad. So I mean, like, it leans really heavily into, the, you know, the top speed kind of trope. Um, but but even then, there, there's, obviously there are cars better than it. I, why did that barrel roll there? Oh, please. <laughs> but even then, as I was saying, there, there are cars better than it. I mean, there are even Cody cars better than this. Like, the CC850, for instance. I drove that in the previous video, you should definitely check it out if you haven't. Uh, that does 212 miles per hour, and then the Koenigsegg Yesco, which I, which I also I also made a video about. Again, check it out if you haven't. That also goes over 300. I forgot how fast it. I thought, I thought exactly how fast, but I, I, I know it was like well over 300. So yeah, this is like one of the few Koenigseggs that doesn't go over 300 miles per hour. Like it's just barely under 300. 300. Like just one mile per hour off. It's a shame, honestly. I would. It would be nice to have like a nice round 300 miles per hour at top speed. Whoa, 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 why are you spinning? Who need that extra spin? Nobody asked for that extra spin. But yeah, Koenigsegg Regera. It's not. It's not. It's actually not the hardest Koenigsegg to drive there, um, but it's definitely not the best of them either. That, do, that doesn't make it any bad though. It's still. It's still a pretty good car. Um, it's just kind of hard, it, it's just kind of like, um, sh overshadowed by the others, or if, if that's a word. 
Anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. So thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all the YouTube stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.